Hey guys, sorry about how actually awful I look right now. Um, I just wanted to do a chill video in my car. Um, bird poop on my window. So, it's like dinner time, tea time, whatever you call it. Um, I just got myself some sushi from Waitrose. Waitrose do the best sushi. Oh my god, so good. This is my favourite crispy salmon avocado roll and it's got like crispy onions you put on top so good um and i got myself some rice cakes and a bottle of water um so it's been a minute um i basically have so much to tell you um oh my god i've been in work all day which is why i look like this i've just chucked the hoodie on um i need to sit back and relax um, okay, where do I start? So basically, me and Harry do not live in our flat anymore. Me and Harry are good, by the way, so good. Me and Harry are strong as ever. But we don't live in our flat anymore. And um, basically what happened was, um, I was off work one day, Harry was in work, and it was like nine o'clock in the morning. I was just chilling in bed. Like I'd been to London the day before, so I was really tired, so I was just, you know sleeping next thing i know there's a man walking into my bedroom and i'm like what the hell is going on i was so tired i was in like the deepest sleep you could ever imagine um so yeah i was asleep and this man walks in and i'm like what the hell are you doing and he's like i'm here to repossess the property <laughs> and i was like bitch i felt like i was on can't pay we'll take it away um me and Harry paid our rent every month on time. We paid all our bills. Like, I was like, what the hell's going on? Basically, our landlord hadn't been paying the mortgage and the flat got repossessed. And we had no friggin' idea. <laughs> it was horrendous. So there I was, like, crying, like, what the fuck, like, screaming at this bailiff man having to ring my estate agent like get down here now this man's like telling me i have to move out of my place um so he comes down and then manages to like postpone it or whatever and then um a few days after that our estate agent was telling us like the landlord's paid the money it's fine like you can stay there um but our um like six month lease was due to be up anyway and we knew like we had a gut feeling that the landlord definitely hadn't paid the mortgage like absolutely there's no way she's paid the mortgage um we had like no proof or anything he was requesting proof from her um but she wasn't giving him she wasn't giving him any um any proof like she wasn't sending over any documents so um basically we moved out like two days later so we had two days to move out i went into work and i was like oh it's fine like i can just start packing later and um my at the time um joe which is like one of my supervisors love joe um she was like beth what are you doing in work i was talking to her about it i was like oh it's fine like i can just start start packing when i go home like hadn't really registered like what was happening i don't think because i just try and get lot get on with shit like if i stew like things stew in my mind otherwise um anxiety <laughs> um um so she let she like sent me home i had to start packing and in two days we got everything packed and moved back in with harry's um into harry's dad's house um thankfully like thankfully praise the lord i think it's as if it was almost meant to happen um at this, when we used to live at Harry's dad's house, it wasn't the greatest. Not like anything that he did. Um, it's just we never felt like we had our own space. Um, and it was just so many people and we were crowded. Like there was another lodger living there. And then Harry's dad moved um, stepsister, half-sister. I don't really know what. Like she's she was his sister by marriage. Um, when Harry's dad was married to her mum. He's not anymore. But anyway, um, she moved in. And it was just a lot. It was a lot of people in the house. Um, so we moved, that's why we moved out. And then... Um, recently Harry's dad has moved moved away has moved away and in with his um, girlfriend so he was actually looking for another lodger like he'd put his, like the room up on um, like a website like people could message him like oh this room's up for rent or whatever um, but thankfully it happened just as he was about to move so we literally um, he let us like 
he like took he literally just let us um move in there straight away and we've got our old room back which is like really really nice harry's dad doesn't live there anymore but we live there with two other lodgers who are super nice and i feel i just feel like we've got a lot more freedom this time and i don't know it just feels different it's a lot you know we've got a lot more freedom and we can just basically do what we want and it's a big like money saving thing as well like harry's dad is obviously charging us for living there but it's a lot less than we were paying um rent in the flat so in that way it's good because now we are saving um for a mortgage for a house and we're hoping to move into a house at some point don't know when because we're just saving our lives away um but yeah so that was that that happened in march um it was a lot it was stressful i spent most of the time crying it was great um and we were like living our black bags for ages i need to start eating my fish my sushi I love this sushi like holy shit it is so good um yeah so that was that um that went on for a bit we settled in and everything and then um i don't know if you guys remember me saying i put it in a vlog actually when i went to get it so the car i'm currently in is my peugeot 107 that i've had um forever since i passed my driving test um it's a bloody beauty of a car this this has never let me down i mean actually it has once but it was so easily fixed and these cars are so cheap to run and if something goes wrong with it it's so cheap to fix as well so like i mean i love this car like i'm so grateful that this was my first car um i just love it like i love 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 it um so i had base anyway i'm going on a tangent basically um i had a mini my dad had a mini cooper this sauce is so good. How do you even say this? Kab kabayaki? Is that kabayaki? I don't know, but the sauce is so good. Um, it's kind of like a teriyaki situation, but like sticky and great. Um, so yeah, I had my dad's uh, Mini Cooper. He basically texted me and he was like, do you want to swap cars? Like, because he doesn't really use it that much. My dad um, doesn't work and he just needs a car to like get, get out and about like whenever he wants to. And he knew that I wanted a Mini Cooper for ages. So he asked me if I wanted to swap cars and I was like, yeah, sure. So we did it. It was cool. I had a Mini. It was great. Like I've always wanted a Mini. And then shit started to go wrong. <laughs> um, the car like just wasn't working properly. Like it would lose power and... It just didn't feel right to drive. Um, so then over the course of the next couple of weeks, um, whilst I was in work and stuff, Harry took it to a couple of garages. And basically um, the problem with it was so big and it was gonna cost so much money um, that they were like reluctant to do it. And because I think it was like an engine fault or something, something to do with um, inside the engine and the timing chain and whatever. I don't know, I don't even know. I don't know about cars. Um, so I was like, what the hell do I do now? Um, and I was due to go down to Wales for my brother's birthday. Um, and my parents live on a street that is like, there's a garage at the end of it. And my parents are really good friends with the guy who runs the garage. And they, they always take their cars there. And, um, you know, he knows what he's doing and they know he's not going to rip us off or anything. So my dad was like, if you can get the car down to us, we'll take it to him. Mm. So good and see what he says like maybe he'll be able to fix it so i drove the car to wales probably shouldn't have in the state that it was in i literally couldn't go any faster than 50 miles an hour so it took so long um and oh shit they just poured onion all over me <laughs> damn me um so yeah i managed to drive it to wales took it to the garage and it was in there for a few days and then <laughs> funnily enough he came to the conclusion that it was he was like basically i can fix what's wrong with it but it's gonna cost a lot and he basically like point blank said he doesn't actually see a point in fixing it because he was adamant that i was gonna ha keep having problems with the car um and he was like basically if you what i would do is just get rid of it so i had to get rid of the mini we took it to we buy any car sold it it was horrible i cried so much oh my god has this few months been fucking awful oh my christ um so yeah we had to do that and then i felt awful because my my car was gone and my dad 
and my mum were gonna let me have the Peugeot back but then I was like oh my god I'm taking like my dad's car off him and I just felt like what is happening like why is this happening to me like I was like you shouldn't have to give him I was thinking like you shouldn't have to give me the car um it's not your fault that, like the mini's fucked up and ugh, it was just it was horrible so um yeah oh this looks so good um so yeah my dad let me have the Peugeot back and I have the Peugeot now and it's so great I honestly love this car so much I know it's literally a Peugeot 107 but I love this car oh my god the sky looks so angry are you okay there's just onions all up in my crotch what the fuck um yeah so I have a car Anyway, so they are the two big things that have happened in life. It's been shit, it's been real. Um, and I don't wanna go into any, I don't wanna go into any details with this one, but recently, um, recently um, a member of my family has become extremely sick. Um, and it's just a, like annoying, I don't wanna talk about it because I'm gonna be really sad. But um, I, I kind of wish I, for when things like this happen it's like i am miles away and i just wish i was there to like be with the family and stuff don't cry <laughs> um this is supposed to be like a mukbang but i literally haven't eaten any of my sushi yet um yeah so that's going on at the minute i it's not looking good i'm not gonna lie um but yeah that is me right now um Apart from that, me and Harry are so good. Blue the cat is loving life and he's loving life having a garden again. Um, but yeah, excuse me as I shove this all in my mouth. <laughs> mm. So yeah, that's me. I just feel like, oh God, all this stuff has happened. I just feel like, oh, like preoccupied with everything. And I'm just so like, I don't even know. I'm just, I'm just crap at the minute. Um, mm, mm, mm. But yeah, it's currently Thursday night and I'm about to go around my friend Georgia's for a film and to chill and um, yeah. Blah. Anyway, I am going to now go to Georgia once I've eaten my sushi. I also bought these. These are more rice cakes. But recently, my sweet craving is like friggin' like I've always had a massive sweet craving. But like lately, I've just wanted to eat all of the sweets ever. Um, so I've decided to buy rice cakes because they're still chocolatey. They're, they're dark chocolate. Um, but they're so much better for you than like eating a chocolate bar or whatever. Um, so... When I have a sweet craving, I'm gonna have one of these, and hopefully that'll be better. Cause I do actually really like rice cakes. I know they're just like rice cakes, obviously, but they're so nice and they do really fulfill like that chocolate sweet craving. Like you know, sometimes you try and eat like fruit or like a healthy alternative to a chocolate bar. I just it's just not the same. Like a cereal bar or something, it's just not the same. But those are so good. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you soon. I promise I'll be happier. <laughs> it's just a lot. It's a lot of stuff. Love you guys so much. See you in my next one. Goodbye. Goodbye now.